So you can probably see the steam coming up off the top of that Kips canteen. So I've moved to a location where I can actually light this thing. Um, so uh, what I've got is I've set the stove up and I've got my cocker um, and the simmer ring, uh, which I probably won't need. And so what I'll do is I'll um, I'll light the stove and heat up enough water um, for like a co coffee. So I'll fill up my Kips canteen and um, boil it, and we'll see how long it takes for it to get the water to a hot temperature. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll um, set the stove up and I'll light it. Um, I've uh, filled the stove up with methylated spirit, so you can see it inside. And I'll uh, get it burning and um, put the water on and I'll see how long it takes to boil a Kips canteen of water. So it started blooming, um, I'll just put my Kips canteen on so you can see my Kips canteen is about two thirds full. So you just put her on the top and then we'll just let it run until um, it's heated the water up to a rolling boil. Um, you just have to be careful with these kinds of stoves because if that fuel s spills out when it's actually burning it'll actually set fire to whatever it's on. So um, you would have to watch like this wooden table or grass, you know it's best to set them up somewhere like a stainless steel bench or like on some rocks or something. So I'll just let that run and then I'll bring you back once it's actually started boiling. So the water's not boiling yet but I can see a bit of steam coming off the top, it's um, uh, heating it up. It's been going for uh, uh, probably about three minutes so far. Um, what I've got here is some fantastic noodles, so once that water's hot I'll put it into the noodles. So um, come back once the water's boiled for the noodles there. There's a pleasant smell when those cookers uh, cook, um, it's kind of like a petrochemical smell, it's really nice. So you can see that uh, water's starting to boil now. Bubbles coming up off the bottom. It's very busy where I am. I'm at um, uh, one of the wee bays on the way back to Christchurch uh, in Littleton Harbour. Lots of people driving around for the weekend and uh, sorry for the day and um, So there's lots of traffic coming through. Uh, one of the disadvantages of using that Cups canteen is the handle gets really hot. So um, I've just gone and got a cloth from the car so that I'll be able to take it off. It's just about finished. So that water's boiling now, I'll take it off. So the water's ready, um, I'll just pour it into my, um, that cup's canteen is fucking hot. <laughs> it's really, really hot. It was always a problem with the things. You had to wear a glove when you were like using it. And then with those noodles you just have to wait for about five minutes for them to rehydrate. Um, so that took um, about probably somewhere between seven and eight minutes for it to heat the water up. Um, which is quite a long time because you know you think if you're using the canister stove that would have heated that amount of water up in probably like three minutes. Uh, so it's certainly not a super efficient um, way of like heating stuff and then um, basically with the stove um, once it's cooled down a wee bit you can put the lid back on um, 
Uh, there's a seal on the inside there. You can see a black rubber seal. So you certainly can't put that on when it's hot because it'll uh, it'll uh, burn it. And that's what stops the liquid coming out. Um, so what you can do is when you're tramping, you can fill up the cooker with uh, like a volume of uh, spirits or alcohol, whatever you're using. And then this will um, give you a watertight seal. And so all the, um, the stuff won't come out. Yeah. So the, um, the cooker itself is okay, the stove frame, but the actual stove is very hot, so you can't pick that up for a wee while. Um, probably it takes about 10 minutes for it to cool down where you can pack it up again. And then, you know, you either um, uh, fill it up with some more um, alcohol or um, empty it back into the carry bottle if you've got a carry bottle. I have to buy one. I have to get myself like a small, maybe say um, 200 ml uh, bottle with a cap that stays on real tight. And then I can just use that for carrying the fluid. Yeah. But some um, cooled down enough where I can... Uh, take the um, cooker out of the frame there, out of the stove. Um, you can see that used about half of the fluid that I put in there. Uh, it's actually quite efficient. Um, it would be much more efficient with a bigger pot, like if I had a big pot on top of there, or even a frying pan. It would be um, quite effective with a frying pan, I think. And then, you know, what you can do with the fluid in there, um, because it's methylated spirits, it's going to it's going to evaporate if you don't do anything. You just want to put the lid back on top. And then that's like sealed and you can see like there's no liquid coming out. Um, and then you can just basically carry it like that. Yeah, so uh, the stove's cooled down enough where I can take it to pieces, so I'll just break it down and put it away. And then by the time I've done that, my noodles will be ready and I can uh, eat my noodles. So the stove's all folded up, ready for the next time I'm going to use it. Um, I've emptied the uh, mess out of the burner and um, I'm just letting it sit there um, open to the air so that it can all evaporate off of it. And then I'll pack that up as well. Yeah, and then I'll uh, just get into my noodles in a minute. This is basically like a New Zealand version of a pot noodle. Not quite as good as pot noodles. Pot noodles are damn fine. The English ones. I like these ones though. This is oriental uh, flavour, but they've also got like beef, chicken... snack food really. Yeah that's a uh, decent bit of cut. I'll be using that more going forward. <clears throat> if you watch the videos um, I'll be taking it out on some trips with me. I mean with the um, with the actual stove itself and uh, the frame as well like you could actually use it in the hut so I might give that a go. And what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll put a link here with um, all of the specs of it, like the weight, um, uh, what it's made of, that kind of thing, and then you can have a look for yourself. Yeah, so um, just another option for you when you're going camping. Um, pros of this, um, the fuel's readily available. Uh, it's relatively light if you aren't carrying the stove. Um, it packs down to a small size. Uh, it's quite gentle. Um, the cons with it, um, it's an inefficient way of like heating food and heating water. So uh, it's going to take you a lot longer to heat your meals up at the end of the day. Um, but if that isn't an issue for you, then it's actually a really good option. I suppose the other uh, negative point with it as well is like with any of these things where you're actually burning something, um, it's quite sooty, you're going to get soot on the bottom of your pot. 
um, but you know you can just you can just wipe it off you wipe it on tussock or grass you can scrub it off with the stelo pad if you've got the kind of pot that you can like use a stelo pad on yeah so um, when I take it out I'll um, make sure I link it to this video and then um, you'll be able to see uh, what's what kind of usage and stuff it is